My research on psychedelic drugs is probably what started my 10-year experience of serious drug addiction and subsequent substance misuse. Sobriety was the outcome of curing this addiction. After my legal run-ins and the challenges I faced, I made the decision to check myself into a rehabilitation facility. I'm happy and thankful that I'm clean from drugs, alcohol, and other addictions in my new life. I can accomplish more of my goals in a calmer and more collected way now that I'm clean and sober. Approximately four years into my recovery, I experienced a horrible period in which I felt hopeless and absolutely lost. I was depressed to the point of having a heart attack even though I didn't use medicines. I was so depressed that all I wanted to do was kill myself and get out of here. My heart did stop beating even if I did not die. I was unconscious for 25 to 35 minutes, the doctor later told me. In this instant, I could see my own body laying on the ground. Thanks to this conversation, I now have a good grasp of what happens to us when we die, why we are here, and how everything works together. The most important lesson I learned from this experience was that life can be both simple and complex, and it can be made easy or tough. I connected with a dazzling light and a powerful energy source that communicated with me through all the facets of our existence that endure beyond death. I learned a lot from this energy exchange. In this state, I communicated with a beautiful, highly observant person. Through our conversations and the accomplishment of our goals, I was able to see firsthand how love and passion can fulfill our dreams. After our conversation concluded, I had to return to Earth. I woke up with the worst aches in my body. I was furious because the doctors and nurses wouldn't give me my medicine. My anger increased as I chastised them for not being able to ease my pain, but they refused to give me medicine which only made me more enraged. At that point, I said I wanted to go back. I find more attraction in that kind of carefree attitude and way of living. I would rather go back to the spirits instead. Another heart attack came at the realization that I was killing myself, if only in my mind. That was destroying me. Trying to snuff out the raging blaze that is myself was a suicide on my behalf. The second heart attack happened suddenly. The interaction was less tense this time. It was not so much instructional as it was, you know what I told you, in tone. Do you want me to kindly remind you? Do you want me to say it again? It appears to be just what I was searching for. I came back because I was happy and in love again. Since then, I haven't attempted to trick myself. I make an effort to know myself as well as possible and to be honest with myself. Despite what some people might think, I'm happy and still here. I saw a long-eyed, white face with long hair, that makes sense for me to think that. I received some information from the creature that helped to clarify why I was seeing visions. Love is that limitless, boundless force. Someone will always find a means to show you how much they care. My Catholic upbringing, which took place inside the walls of the Catholic faith, influenced my early perception of that energy. We may have a connection to whatever is going on in front of us. My subconscious begins to believe things like, oh, this must be God because I'm dead, or this must be the all-powerful energy, if we were to match. I felt the presence of a wise, compassionate, peaceful, and all-knowing being. Even though I hadn't attended the Catholic school in a while, my mind kept transporting me back to those times. It takes on a new form so that we can engage with the energy and feel comfortable. We feel less tense and are better able to concentrate on the other person. I found out from talking to people who had similar experiences that some had seen Jesus, some had seen the Buddha, and some had seen other holy figures. In actuality, you are a part of the same energy. I don't know what religion you follow, but I can assure you that you will experience whatever it is in a way that promotes understanding between people. The lights went off instantly, allowing me to see the tunnel. When I left this realm, I was so tired that I fell to the ground. My soul and spirit had left my body since my heart was no longer beating. The bricks, sand, and trees of the building were made of the same material as my flesh and cells. It all felt like it was moving like a web of linked cells. Energy cells are home to a person's soul. Spirit and energy are its basic building blocks, and each component of the complex system is alive and interrelated. As I broke free and flew away, the globe contracted to the size of a tiny dot, for the rest of the scene, there was silence. It was so beautiful that I started to walk in the direction of the far light. I learned a very important lesson as I got closer to the light. I had killed myself because I was so miserable. The decision is ours to make tomorrow. We are always faced with choices and decisions in life. 
All we need to do is always have faith in our capacity to make the right judgments. Humanity will have to confront everything we can imagine in the future. Any moment now, you have the power to change the course of events. Envision a world free from conflict and upheaval, one filled with prosperity and harmony. Before you even open your eyes, picture your perfect tomorrow. You possess extraordinary strength. Many individuals are unaware that energy flows originate from ideas and are maintained by imagination. As a species, we have an obligation to envision the world in which we exist. We need to picture a future with an abundance of food, clean rivers, oceans teeming with fish, gorgeous relationships, cutting-edge technology, fascinating research, fascinating friends, and anything else we could possibly want. The environment we live in now shapes the one we live in later.